All right, um, section nine, lubricating oil system, the content, the main lubricating oil system, is a cooling system, with have a drink oil system, that will gauge main, main lubricating oil pressure, mission cooling oil pressure, main lube oil piston, piston cooling, main oil the description pressure, read that, they relief valve, the description, spring guide of the valve, with the inspection, installation, pressure, shredding, piston cooling, oil pipe, description, and check the oil velocity, um, changing oil, oil strainer, housing, description, maintenance to lube oil, oil separated, description, maintenance, um, contents maintain an oil piston cooling oil pump description disassembly cleaning inspection assembly and assembly inspection scheduling oil pump um, description uh, disassembly cleaning and inspection assembly assembly inspection turbocharger oil filter description maintenance soak back oil system description and maintenance belt pre lubrication of the engine um, oil system information surface data specification and equipment list engine maintenance manual section nine electric motor division um, GM lubricating oil system description of the engine the complete engine lubricating oil system this is common for the three separate these are the main lubricating system the pushing oil lubricating system the gathering oil system each of the piston has its own oil pump the main oil lube point for the piston oil cooling oil pump although the individual bolts will contain the one however the thing the driven over the common drive shaft the scavenging oil pump the separate the pump with all the pumps that are driving them is the accessory gear train is the front of the engine with the parts of the complete of the oil system as uh a schematic arrangement of the oil circulation shown in figure 9. One of the main lubricating oils is the main lubricating oil system supplied for the oil under the most of the moving part of the engine. The main oil lube pump take the, the, from the stream of the housing of the right from the engine. Oil lube the pump give the main oil field and oil manifold which is located above the crankshaft extent for the length of the engine. Maximum oil pressure for the limited the relief valve of the pressure between the pump and the main, infold, main oil field manifold. All right, um, stretching this back out, we're going to go to some one. Number one is your scavenging oil pump. Two is the... Um, Exaggerating oil strainer. Three is the main oil loop of the poison cooling oil pump. The one four is the oil, oil line of the governor drive gear of the subshaft. Five is the main oil line and lube oil with the piston cooling oil manifold. And six for the oil pressure relief valve. Seven the oil lines of the governor's so eight the camshaft oil passes the camshaft there the egg cylinder rocker arm seven and nine bath soak back filters ten the tubular turbocharged filters eleven the turbo filter oil supposed supply manifold twelve the oil line to the right and left bank of the camshaft drive to the turbo filter with the thirteen oil lift lines of the camshaft stub filter two fourteen oil lines to the number two idler gear stub shaft down fifteen the turbocharged gear train sixteen the turbocharger bearing oil supply line seventeen the oil lines of the number one idler gear stub shaft eighteen the main oil, oil main oil manifold nineteen oil supply with the crankshaft and bearings have been 20 the piston cooling oil line all right oil tubes from the center of the um Oil tube for the center of the, each of the main the bearing with the A with the frame of the contact with the oil the cage the main manifold the, the upper half of the main crankshaft with the bearing with the drill with the passage for the crankshaft the supply with the oil the connection rod bearing with the damp with the accessory with the drive gear with the front of the crankshaft leak off the oil the adjacent main bearing with the lubricate with the camshaft the drain the crankshaft thrust bearing with the oil from the main oil loop with the main, main, main manifold the engine with the gear with the train strain with the rear with the engine with the idler gear with the sub stub sub, sub sub bracket with the oil patch with the sub shaft the bracket the distribute with the oil with the passage conduct with the oil for the move with the right left bank with the camshaft the drive gear sub shaft the brackets from the manifold connected with the turbo charger oil filter after the passing through the filter oil engine with the return engine of the manifold flows back from the idle gear stub shaft the passing the idle gear stub shaft the back of the direction the loop oil with the upper lobe and stub shaft there with the filter oil engine of the turbocharger oil filter oil system from the idle upper idler gear stub shaft the oil passing with the turbocharger filter with head to the pyro roll the filter outlet output line is connected with the passage turbocharger oil manifold and oil pressure line with the tank between the manifold passage with the oil pressure device for the governor oil engine for the how Bore camshaft from the camshaft to drive subshaft with the radio holes in the camshaft to the oil to each of the camshaft bearing with each of the oil line with the camshaft bearing with each of the cylinder of the supply oil the car rocker arm shaft the rocker arm cam flower assembly hydraulic lash oils and the injector put rocker arm button with the leak off the oil returns to the oil pan through the passage between the top of the deck and the oil pan the passage with the turbocharger connect with the oil to the turbocharger bearings out of the gear planet gear and assembly auxiliary drive vehicle bore considerable heat remained with the metal parts of the turbine over the engine shut down if the oil supply with the turbocharger was shut off the Suddenly, the heat would penetrate with the turbocharger bearing air to prevent the possible overheating with the turbocharger oil is automatically supplied to the turbocharger after stopping the engine protection that is provided against the hot oil condition with the thermostatic valve. The description and information is contained in section 13 of the protective devices. Piston cooling oil system. Piston cooling oil system pumps receive the oil from the common section with the main loop to, um, lube oil with the pump delivered to oil. The two piston cooling oil manifolds extend for the length of the engine, one of the each side, but the piston cooling oil pipe each for the cylinder direct the same oil the, through the carrier to call it, call it cool underside of the piston of the crown and the ring belt with some of the oil bearing enter for the oil groove in the piston pan with the bearing with the remainder of the drains over the, the hole of the crown of the crown of the sump. 
scavenging oil system. The scavenging oil system pump, and pump the figure nine one that takes oil to the roof. The scavenging oil strain through the oil pump, the pump strain the reserve of the pump, the force of the oil through the oil filter, the oil cooler, which are the lubricated near the engine of the oil, then returns to the strainer housing the supply of the main lube oil pump with the piston cooling oil pump when cooled within fil- uh, filtered oil with excess for the oil spill the, over the dam into the strainer housing the return to the oil pan. Oil gauge. The oil level the gauge in figure 9 will extend from the side of the oil pan with the oil pan. Some of the oil level should be maintained with the strain low and full with the marks on the end of the reading the headache when the engine is in idle and it uh, was high. Figure 9 to show the oil level the gauge. Um, maintenance of the maintenance of the main, main lubrication oil pr- pressure. The adequate lubrication oil pressure must be maintained at all times when the engine is running. I'm starting an idle engine, but this should not be noted, but the oil pressure builds up almost immediately in the event of the cold oil. The pressure may relieve, rise to relief of the valve setting approximately at 125 PSI. Lubricating oil pressure is not adjustable. The operating pressure range is determined in such things and things as the manufacturer tolerance, oil temperature, oil dilution, wear, and the engine speed. The pipe, pump, the pipe plug can be removed from the opening of the dump pump, the discharge elbow, and the gauge itself will determine the pressure. The minimum oil pressure is approximately 8 to 12 PSI idle and 25 to 29 PSI at full speed. The event of the insufficient Oil pressure with the sufficient uh, shutdown feature of the build with the governor will automatically protect with the engine and shutting it down with the maximum pressure of the term of the relief valve setting. Piston cooling oil pressure. The piston pressure for the piston cooling oil will be governed with the viscosity speed of the engine, temperature of the oil, water of the pump parts of the pipe of the plug can be removed with the opening of the pump, discharge elbow with the gauge and stop with the term of the pressure of the main loop and oil piston cooling oil the oil manifold. Descript the main oil loop with the piston cooling oil manifold. Figure 9 3 with the oil pipe and the casting with the core patch for the 9 fold amount of the dwell in the front end of the plate under the accessory drive. Cover the um, 9 3 shove lube oil manifold relief valve with the relief valve p- bypass port, the pressure relief valve, and the oil manifold. All right, connecting the two passing for the accessory drive cover for the protective against the leakage of the seal ring for the connecting the manifold, the discharge side for the main loop pipe, the missing oil cooling pump, the pressure for the manifold to transfer the oil supply for the pump to the main bearing oil header for the center of the engine for the manifold. Also, transfer the oil with the piston cooling oil header pipe down each side of the crankcase, just inside of the oil pan mounting flange loop oil pressure relief valve. The description, um. Lube oil pressure relief valve with the figure 9 with the distance of the lube oil manifold inside of the accessory gear train with the housing on the left side of the engine. Figure 9, one cup of the plate that provides success for the valve for the inspection and adjustment. Our figure 9, four, show the lube oil pressure relief valve, show the valve, the spring of the valve with the relief valve with the valve guide with the relief valve holder, the safety plate with the valve, valve guide, lock nut, and normal um, one eighth of an inch. Or one and one half inch. Um, the purpose of the valve is to limit the maximum pressure of the lube entering the engine oil system with lubing oil. The pressure, the pressure, pressure exceeds the, the spring with the tension of the valve. The valve will be lifted off the seat and relieve the excess of the pressure. The oil drains into the accessory housing within and into the oil plan. Maintenance of the oil pressure relief valve should be removed within the parts of the inspected with the interval schedule within the specified scheduled maintenance program. The symbol of the valve to wash all the parts thoroughly with the state of the safety plate within the valve with the black off the valve guide and all the way before removing the valve holder in the spring. Inspect the parts of the valve to determine their condition and reuse the valve spring. Check the valve spring for any nexus which could cause the subsequent spring failure. Test of the valve in the spring to apply the load of the 300 pounds and under the load of the spring length. It should not be less than um, four and a half inches. The valve guide using the telescope gu- gauge for the tech of the valve guide inside of the diameter. The inside of the diameter is rough and lively. Scuffs are cleaned up at the board. Do not exceed the maximum diameter of the valve. Ex- ex- examine the valve stem with the roughness of the light. With the scuffing of the stem, maybe the hard stone, hand stone with the buffs into the remove the high spot. The relief of the valve if the stem is badly galled. The check the outside of the diameter of the valve stem and it is not less than the minimum limit. Also check the possible bent valve with the distorted face. The checking the squareness of the valve with the face for the measuring the, at the outer edge of the valve face until the indicator reading should be specified. Installation. When the installation of relief valve of the engine may be sure that they um that the bypass board is positioned on the downward direction. The setting of the oil pressure relief valve with the setting of the oil pressure relief valve with the lube oil manifold to determine the maximum oil pressure of the main loop of the oil pump is not set by the pressure gauge but specific dimension from the top of the valve guide to the top of the valve holder. If you set the valve with the locking loosen the lock nut figure nine four position the valve guide is so that it extends into one half an inch above the safety plate setting of the will permit the maximum oil pressure for the about um, one hundred twenty five psi under the oil cool oil Conditions, cold oil conditions, and adequately pressure for the normal operation from the hot oil. Lubricating oil manifold pressure and the pressure at the valve can be determined by applying the pressure gauge to the main loop oil pump to discharge elbow. Piston cooling oil pipe. The script of the piston cooling oil pump is bolted at one end of the flange of the piston cooling oil manifold at the end of the other end of the bottom of the cylinder lining the pipe that's located at each of the cylinder that directs the stem of the stream of the oil through the piston carrier with the carrier to the undercrown of the piston alignment of the piston cooling with the oil pump is very important. The maintenance of the alignment of the piston cooling oil pump is in the inlet with the hole of the piston carrier the check with the alignment of the gauge is shown figure 9-5. Small end of the gauge of piston with the first piston of the nozzle with the pipe with the bring of the bit, pump, piston with the bottom center of the gauge should be entered into the inlet hole of the piston carrier to turn freely into the position.
solution. The gauge is not to be used with the floor bending with the pipe and encased with the missile line, but the gauge will not be freely entered with the carrier hole. The pipe should be removed and replaced with a newly and correctly aligned one. Additional alignment to check with the piston cooling with the pipe note that should be examined with the ragged edges with the main cover the oil to spray with the air stem to shoot out of the into in a stream. All right, figure 9-5, show the piston cooling oil pipe alignment. The piston cooling oil pipe alignment gauge must be entered for the past to determine the freely without binding piston carrier. Check the oil of the Kasi. Oil of the Kasi should be checked in the intervals specified by the scheduled maintenance program by comparing the Vikasi with the different intervals taken at the same temperature with the success of the fuel dilution may be detected by the unusual drop of the Vikasi. The success of the oxidation of the oil may be detected by the unusual rise of the Vikasi with the recommended with the oil drain period. The size of the Vikasi limits are directly related to the type of the oil with the baby with the type of the Vikasi measurement being made with the oil supplier with the furnace for these valves the values which would correspond with the maximum of the 5% of the fuel dilution and 35% of the Vikasi rise. Operating at the engine with the badly oxidized oil with the power Oil filterization results in the oil cool b- b- plug, core plugging the carbon buildup of the piston underground with the ring of the groove of the oil ring of the piston bearing pin bearing groove with the limitation of the oil flow for the main of the connection rod bearing with the subsequent of the engine the damage to provide the protection of the engine with the oil system with the component that should be carefully observed with the proper the function with the correct measurement to take them where if necessary oil filter changes the period but should be fully um, full file with closely the same for the oil is not oxidizing but the contaminants are going come according to the engine from the fuel and the combustion as well with known airborne the contaminants was caught now caught and the, by, by the air filters are therefore beneficial to drain the oil and eliminate these contaminants specified in the schedule a um, schedule maintenance program changing the oil engine the lube oil should be drained and filters for play for the schedule the tra- strainers and screen screens cleaned at intervals outlined with the schedule maintenance program before they over the drain but the viscosity should be checked for the any of the indication of the fuel dilution if the fuel leakage is indicated if the leakage should be corrected before change charging the engine with the new oil. General procedure. Shut down the engine. Open the drain valve of the oil strainer housing of the oil. Drain the oil of the engine over the oil pump pan sump. Dra- provide the container oil run off the line over the front of the drain over the oil. Remove the pipe plug with the oil drain valve to open the valve to drain oil from the engine oil pump sump. Remove the pump strain of the strainer housing. Remove the oil filter from the filter housing. Six tra- clean the strainer with a suitable cleaner of the rinse thoroughly. Wash the dra- down, down the top of the deck and over the oil pan with the filter housing. Use the fuel oil of the kerosene. Drain off the cleaning of the fluid. Wipe air with the free of the fluid using bound edge for the absorbent towel. The replacement the pipe plug with the drain lines where required. Close the valve when necessary with the new renew the gaskets. Install the clean strainer to the screens. Install new elements for those are contained to prepare the system with the received new oil. Time retrieve the engine with the new lubricating oil qualified for the use of the added oil with the square filler with the opening of the training housing. Check with the intro of the trainer housing and interval of the drain valve. There are the oil strainer is filled with the overflow of the train floor the starting with the engine. Sufficient oil will re retain the housing to supply of the main um, loop of the piston, cooling the oil pump at the start of the engine on the starting of the engine oil is shown on the oil gauge of the floor. The lube uh, pour a liberal quantity of the oil over the cylinder head at the top deck of the components before the starting the inspect the engine prior to the start, then start with the engine, check the oil level the engine at the idle speed of the oil level the down full mark on the air gauge they add the oil to bring to the full mark of level with the engine at the idle speed with the, with the hot oil. Under the some condition for the oil level may be to be available above the bottom of the oil pan handle, but so the care must be taken when the oil pan handle covers the sure removed. The oil strainer housing description, the oil strainer housing figure nine six with a large box with the trail shaft shaped cast aluminum housing with the net mounted in the right front side of the engine, the accessory the drive, drive cover the contains the independent strain for the for the main oil pump that's applied with the scans of the oil pump with the two strain with the main loop pump with the oil Main loop pump oil with the oil strainer um, screen with the scavenging pump oil with the separate oil liner on the inlet with the discharge for the each of the system with the two main loop pump the, um, loop oil pump strain with the figure nine seven the each of the consist the replacement element with the pleated perforated metal cover the covers with the mesh screening with the pit model cylinder with the enclosure of the element with the cylinder prevents collapse over the element in the event with the high pressure drop of the element of the tabs for the cylinder and through the bowl. And the cylinder with the run for the base for the element with the skirt with the lock number the upper four eight with the outside cylinder provided the constant head of the oil sensor the suction from the front of the bottom of the line. Not through the entire length of the screen. The flow of the oil from the bottom of the strand between the cylinder of the mesh screen, but all through the mesh screen, but the periphery is melted with the core into the center of the element, then out the, of the top of the strainer. Figure nine shows the, the oil strainer housing for the oil, over, oil overflow um, overflow filler drainer line, the outlet scavenging pump, the mounting flange, and then scavenging oil with the suction line, the inlet. Um, now, figure nine shows the main piston cooling oil pump. At the best, starts with the seal and the strainer installed with the metal cylinder and element. When the place for the, the help with the crap of the hand wheel with the stub uh, between the hole for the each of the strainer seal with the top of the, the uh, seal ring and also the oil upper under the pressure of this emitted of the groove around the each of the strainer just below the seal to prevent the air. Entry in the event of the leak of the um, seal with the paration adjacent with the strain for the opening of the bottom of the separate from the oil in the air for the housing oil into the strain for the portion of the bottom of the taken up of the pump through the cast of the 
Pass to the housing. The sketch is going well pump with the trainer thicker than 98. It has rigid with the perforated middle screen with the retained in shape with the was easily clean. When the trainer is installed in the housing of the held in the position with the three note, the two hand rolled wheel, the swivel of the bolts with the screw of the cover over the strainer with the drain valve, the casting oil strain with the inlet and outlet pointing openings are shown thicker than sick with the end oil is maintained with the trainer housing up through the bolt and bottom of the overflow overflowing the opening with the thicker than sick with the excessive oil with the return of the oil pump shown with the spring load valve thicker than 99 is provided with the drain oil with the train with the housing of the oil pump shown with the at the time of the oil change with the additional valve the figure 99 is you the drain the old fills are housing both of the valves are located on but the filler cover the cover and be kept them uh, clothed at all times except for the period of the draining figure 9 h of the scavenging oil pump strainer with the strainer um uh, figure 99 show of the strainer housing drain valve the filter drain valve the filter dr filter drain oil pan the filter to the engine oil inlet and the housing drain valve lift the turn due to the drain closing before the refilling and oil drainage passage Maintenance lube oil strainer should be removed at each of the oil strain of the strainer of the housing with the oil equally for the patrolling salt event and previously described the engine lube oil with the strain of the seal oil under the pressure of the additional seal ring of the oil under the pressure will leak out into the strainer flange if the seal of the rings are not sealed properly with their damage when the strain of the replaced care of the must be taken to see with the sealing floor if they are free of the next with the extraction of the sealing rings are in good condition. Also the oil patch seals are open and clear with the pressure of the oil seals may be checked with the engine with the idle speed with the loose ring with the larger hand wheel with the sealing ring with the furthest with the strain with the, the engine is free of the housing with the oil should be leaked around with the stranger fail hinge. If no oil that appear of the engine should be shut down with the oil suit apply with the passage and inspector will clean and air which might be entered the system of this location will be charged with the lubricating oil may be covered with the damage of even the normal oil pressure that is indicated. When placing the scavenger strainer to be sure that the strainer is received properly with the scavenger pump with the loose of the suction with the closing and close causing the loss of the loop of oil pressure. All right, your lube oil separator description. The oil separator with the elbow shape of the cylinder with the housing contained with the wires, the group mesh screen, the element, the amount of the turbocharger housing, the elbow assembly connection with the oil separator with the adductor. Uh, adductor tube with the sum of the exhaust stack with the figure 910 with the exhaust gas with the, uh, gas with the stack of the create with the suction into the educated tube and uh, adductor tube with the drop up the oil vapor from the engine through the separator element. The oil collects the element and drains back into the engine. The gaseous vapor the going through the element of the discharge in the exact stack of the vent for the atmosphere maintenance for the screen should be removed from the oil. The separator should clean in the intervals specified in the scheduled maintenance program. Figure 910, a lube oil separator with the one shut down the engine, remove the bolts with the separator, couple the disconnect of the flue, exhaust tube with the some of the educated tubes over the remove the housing, cover the exhausted tube elbows, and assembly, remove the adductor assembly for the tubes from the sack, separate the inner adductor for the tube from the outer tube with the insert of the screwdriver at the top of the adductor flanges, clean the carbon deposit for the inside, outside with the bolts, the adductor tube, remove the screen element from the separator, the cup with the wash and the petroleum, stop the rinse and the element for the hot water with the bolt dry with the compressed air, insert the inner the tube with the outer flue, um, Tube of the hole in the inner fluid tube of the flange of the line with the thing with the inner uh, and outer tube of the flange place the ed adductor with the assembly in the stack with the word top of the chamber on the inner fluid tube of the flange with the facing up with the install of the screen element with the cover the amount of the cover to separate with the mounting bolt with the to the exhaust below the adductor the adductor assembly of the exhaust stack within the four mounting holes. Bolts. Uh, main loop oil piston and cooling oil pump. The description of the main loop oil pump oil and piston cooling oil pump. Figure 911 there contained within one half of the two pumps are separately with the spare um, space um, plate between the section of the, uh, section of the bump at the body of the each of the individual inlet. Oil inlet with the discharging open the piston with the cooling pump the gear for the, the end of the narrow the end of the lube oil pump gear for the, the lobe oil and the piston cooling oil pump the assembly is mounted in the center of the accessory drive of the housing with the set in the driven accessory drive gear the mount main is in the following disassembly assembly procedure with disregard of the references into the center body for the eight and twelve cylinder engine then we also disregard the center gear for the eight and twelve cylinder engines. Disassembly clean the pump externally before the um disassembly. Let's see if this is alright. 911, uh, main oil, loop oil, piston cooling pump, the six, what, 16 cylinder, main loop oil pump portion, piston cooling oil pump portion, um, hold the pump within suitable, suitable, um, the su suitable devices after the safety precaution, provide additional support with the center of the pump until the front of the body with the pushing of the, um, bushing of the piston with the cooling pump, the gears are removed, remove the long bolts holding the front of the body to the center of the body, figure 912. All right, one of the piston cooling pump um, driven the gear with the two of the spacer plate with the three of the looper oil pump, pump driven the gear with the four is the idler shaft the five of the drive gear with the six of the inner bushing seven of the drive shaft the eight loop oil pump drive gear nine the loop oil pump drive gear assembly the nine the um, ten the cool collar the eleven the piston cooling drive gear with the twelve the front bushing the thirteen washer fourteen shaft the nut fifteen shaft sleeve with the sixteen cover.
You for the raw head, male, the tap of the front of the body, for the inlet, outlet, the opening, for the remove of the front of the body, for the cuff of the ideal shaft, the outer is dripping, the egg gear, for the assembly, remove the drive shaft, and that with the washer. Support these pump with the fly, under flame, pump drop the gear with the down with the shoulder, the, the gear with the free with the move with the downward side with the apply with the pressure for the shoulder with the drive with the shaft with the pressure for the shaft down there approximately one half inch for the shaft with the press it down too far the piston with the cooling pump with the gear key with a little shear with the collar with the space and play with manually raise the pump with the drive gear drive shaft with the, until the one half inch clearance is obtained between the drive shaft cleave and the piston cooling pump with the dra- drive gear with the attached with the pulp and pull the drive shaft sleeve with the remove the sleeve from the drive shaft um, remove the piston cooling pump with the drive gear and the sleeve remove the space and play with the collar remove the tube oil pump the center drive gear with the drive gear assembly raw hide balance remove the center of the body portion of the pump remove the tube oil with the inner driving gear with the drive gear from the key of the pump the drive gear with the shaft assembly is then remove the keel all keep all the parts of the one with the pump assembly together all right, cleaning, cleaning all the individual parts of the pump. You with the petroleum salt. Then after cleaning with the drive with the parts of the compressed air, with the inspect with the pump bag, cleaning the surface with the pump bag, with the inspection with the next with the and the dents for the scratches which may have. Um, Trees from the above the normal surface of the smooth of the down with the absence of the roughness and speckle the drive shaft the bushing for the embedded of the dirt medical particle the flaking the pitting of the bushing for the light scratch with the small quantity of the embedded of the dirt may be reused after smoothing up the provided the board slides that have window back some limits. Place the bushing and if any other virus or conditions exist, the detail of the construction application bushing and installation removal of the tools are shown in figure nine thirteen. Using a fine abrasive cloth of the most smooth surface of the tool over the clean off the gasket of the face for the home body space for the inspect of the side for the space for the smoothest and the surface smooth side with the using the fine abrasive for the cloth of the head of the flat and the flat surface of the tool for the gears and inspect the gear for the teeth of the neck and the pitting of the success of the wear of the light nick for the permissible provide the bending by filling a filing or stone. The gears have the tool face for the tooth face of the pitting of the success of the thirty so it's really thirty percent of the tooth contact area of the ship be not reused. Inspect the driving gear bushing and the side of the diameter for the wear of the possible damage drive the gear with the bushing and installation removal of the tool construction application shown in figure 914. Inspect the uh, key weeds for the drive gears and any of the damage that would interfere with the key with the application. Six for the drive gear gap may be manaflux. Inspect the drive shaft the key and the end of the shaft. Inspect the shaft with the roughness. Check with the drive shaft key for the key fit with the making sure with the key fit. Snuggle in the shaft and the check of the drive shaft diameter to determine whether the drive shaft to be out of the bushing clearance to the maximum limits. Alright, this shows your insulation, um, rear assembly, um, these are different measures, insulation in front of the body and bushing. This shows the removal of the rear body, assembly of the bushing, um, the removal tool of the bushing and front body assembly. Also check the ideal shaft that makes room within the shaft of the bushing and clearance with the maximum limits assembly with the place with the following flange with the clean with the inspector rear body with the nine twelve figure the nine twelve with the flange five with the drive sh- shore bore facing up with the pump drive the gear with the ply with the drive shaft with the light oil shaft with the shore with the insert with the shaft of the rear body and housing with the lace in the inner drive the gear with the drive shaft with the insult with the inner drive gear on the shaft with the dowel holes with the gear facing toward the front of the pump. And um oil pump driving the gear bushing tool with um Contain reference of the service the services is added with the diagram of the hex electrical uh, helixal a helix Helix angle position of the abutting gear with the after the oil with the bushing and with the mating with the drive gear with the meshing with the drive gear with the oil pump with the rear body with the same with the gasket playing with the gasket phase for the rear body being careful to do align with the bolt with the dowel with the ply with the center of the body with the rear of the body the ply with the center of the drive with the gear with the assembly the drive with the shaft the dowel aligned with the hole from the rear of the drive gear slide the center of the gear with the door with the rear of the pole pump until the dowel of the dowel's holes are fully in so made it and so the center of the drive gear to make the center of the, the drive gear assembly or over the body with the gasket plate with the center of the body with the plate with the space for bone plate with the center of the body with the color of the drive shaft and install the piston cooling drive gear key within the drive shaft and apply with the drive gear with note that the use the cleaner active activator the retaining with the compounds described in the following steps that does not apply with the A2, 8 and 12 cylinder engines the 12 to make sure that the sleeve with the drive shaft are free with the dirt and oil the grease spray cleaner activator on the inside diameter of the sleeve with the, with the outside diameter of the shaft to wipe off the respray with the sleeve with the shaft allow with the drive without for 10 minutes do not wipe off um 14 coat the entire surface of the shaft which is covered by the sleeve of the body applying with the retaining of the compound in small amounts apply sleeve with the wipe off the excess of the compound with the edge of each of the end of the sleeve apply the heavy duty wash from that and tighten the um do 320 to 350 foot bolts of the torque retaining the compound set quickly so that the delay of the torquing nut but it could be resolved in the improper clamp of the gears check all the excess of the compounds remove the fourth proceeding with the assembly oil spatial plate gasket and apply with the space of the complete oil coat of the bushing in the front of the body with the oil with the apply with the position Piston cooling pump with the driving gear with the idler shaft, which is left assembled with the front of the body with the cover and body and the cover the apply with the assembly with the pump with the front body with the cover the idler shaft with the assembly apply with these parts individual use the new oil gasket between the cover and the front of the body. Twenty complete the assembly of the pump is installed with the long bolt with the, through the cover of the tightening screw with the possible allow the pump to remain used approximately twenty four hours after torque and ensure the sleeve of the shaft of inspection. 
Retention. Assembly inspection. After the pump of the pump of the assembly, rotate the pump of the drive gear for the remove uh, check with the gear for the noise for the tight assembly. Check with the rest of the drive gear. This may this may be done by the screwing the indicator for the pump of the flange with the indicator button with the contents in the rim of the pump the drive gear for the figure nine fifteen. Put the drive gear inward so that all the clearance is located at one end of the set of the indicator zero with the pull of the drive gear the outward determined by the amount of the burst um, um thrust of the clearance. Figure nine fifteen show the tapping checking of the pump drive gear with the end of the end of the thrust. Um the indicator assembly and then the indicator button the drive gear and the mounting and flange. Leave the indicator button on the outside of the pump drive gear with the rim. Rotate the drive gear and the check of the rear of the run out with the drive gear run out. Should be not exceed the specified total indicator reading with the thrust in one direction. Check the pump button flange, rain, flange run out with the mount with the indicator clamp with the drive gear on the plate for the indicator button with the contact of the plumb flange for the set and the indicator zero with the thrust held in one direction with the rotate the drive gear with the run out with the plumb flange for the face that should not exceed the specified total the indicator reading. Check for the pump gears the body with the radio clamp the clearance should be within the specified limits. Of the L. Additional claim of the limits are listed within the scope of the data at the end of the section. Some of the, these clearance must be obtained with the comparing with the individual mating parts with their value. Some of the disassembly from the lead wire other suitable means maintain means of obtaining the part of the parts of the clearance of the after the pump inspection field of the body with the pump of the opening of the provide the perfection for the teeth of the pump drive and then gear for the scavenging oil pump, the description scavenging oil pump figure nine sixteen for the body display from the helical ear type of the pump of the body split. Transversely for easy for the main the name the ease um sets of the main pump and gear, the driving gears are retained with the pump of the drive gears shaft and gear by key of the idler shaft. Hill station over the housing by a set of screws with the drive pump with the gears rotate with the shaft on the bushing press and the gore bear, gear boards. The drive shaft turns in the bushing press and into the body with the bushing and the bomb bay with the thrust collars and protrude with the slightly above slightly above the pump body that absorb the thrust of the drive with the gears and the scavenging pump is mounted on the accessory housing for the left and in line with the over the left of the crankshaft with the driven and the accessory drive gear. Figure nine sixteen show the scavenging oil pump the discharge outlets. 16 and 20 cylinder. Maintenance in the following disassembly assembly procedure to disregard reference to center body for the 8 and 12 cylinder engines. Also, to disregard the center gear for the 8 and 12 cylinder engines. Construct the maintenance of the scavenging oil pump is similar to the main lube pump, the piston cooling oil pump, except for the use of the spacer and the main oil lube oil pump. The disassembly clean the external surface of the pump, the disassembly hump the pump, the suitable flasel, I see the precaution provide the additional support. Heal the rear body to remove the roll and remove the long bolts for the hold of the jump pump body together. Use the rawhide and mildly tap the front of the body with the inlet with open, oil inlet. All the openings remove the front of the body with the inlet either shaft with the cover that is necessary. Remove the dirt drive shaft and that with washer sleeve with the drive shaft. Remove the outer drive the gear with the key and the driving gear. Driven gear with the remove the center of the body. Hey, remove the center of the drive gear with the key with the mating with the driving driven gear with the move of the rear driven gear with the key of the driven gear. Remove the pump the drive gear with the shaft as is the assembly for the rear of the pump body. Keep all the parts um, of the, pump, the same pump together. Cleaning all the cleaning of the individual parts of the pump. Even the pump patrol himself with the rudiments for the hot water drive the parts of the using compression air. Refer to the reference inspection. Refer to the corresponding procedure for the in proceeding the main loop oil piston cooling oil pump. The coverage of the also refer to the surface data at the end of the section assembly. Place the clean inspected rear body of the figure nine seventeen with the life of the drive shaft of the board facing up. All right, this show the scavenging oil pump the cross section of 16 and 20 cylinder. One is the driving gear shaft, um, driving the driving gears 12, 12. Two is the idler shaft. Um, three is the pump driven gear for the floor and the inner brushing of the five, the drive shaft gear. This is the drive shaft, the six is the drive gear, but the seven is the, um, the front brushing of the eight, the washer, the nine, the driving shaft, now the ten is the sleeve, and the eleven is with the cover. Oil pump dri oil drive shaft the general with the spring with the apply with the pump drive with the gear with the shaft with the sum of the, the rear of the body with the apply with the drive gear with the drive shaft with the plane with the inner drive with the gear with the plane with the main the driving gear with the front of the surface of the dab with the diagram of the helix angle angle position the abutting with the gear with the file with the turn with the drive gear with the key with the shaft the oil of the body gas and apply with the, the rear of the body apply with the turn of the body with the rear body the install the center drive with the gear with the drive shaft place with the center drive with the gear with the body with the mesh with the driven gear with the apply the oil gas with the defense of the ace with the center of the body with the apply the oil of the gear with the outer drive the gear with the front drive shaft with the install the out of the drive gear with the and apply the sleeve heavy duty wash for the drive shaft and up to the shaft tighten to um 320 to 350 foot pounds of the tor torque since the front of the body the other shaft the cover will be left assembly these parts may apply with the pump together to apply with the outer drip of the gear with the other shaft apply this assembly to the pump and install the long bolt through the cover and tightening securely Assembly inspection. After the pump's assembly, rotate the pump to drive the gear to check with the gear of the no noise for the tight and assembly check with the thrust of the pump to drive the gear of this is drawn, but they use the same indicator arrangement shown in figure 915 for the main loop oil pump attached to the indicator holders of the pump flange with the indicator button the containing the rim of the pump with the driving gear. Push the driving gear inward to take up the all thrust in one direction. Set the indicator button to zero. Pull the drive gear to outward to determine the clearance of the thrust clearance. Usually be 
If you think new parts should be within the specified limit to put the indicator button the, on the outside with the pump drive gear with the rim and there's a jump with the check and the thrust and clutch. We must rotate with the gearing with the thrust held in the one direction of the check with the drive gear with the run out with the drive the gear run out with the not exceed the specified tool. Indicator reading check with the pump with the flange out run out with the mount with the indicator clamp with the driving gear place for the indicator button the contact with the pump flange for the side of the indicator is zero with the thrust held in the one direction rotate the drive gear. Run out the plump flange of the face and should not exceed the specified total the indicator reading. The check with the pump of the gear for the battle reading. The clearance the check with the check with the clearance should be within the specified limit. Additional clearance limits are listed. So for the data at the end of the section, the clearance must be obtained by comparing the individual mating parts by, by assembly or disassembly, usually wire or other suitable means to obtain the part of the, for the part clearance. After the pump of the inspection, seal off the button for the body opening of the provided protection for the drive gear or teeth. Turbo charger oil filter description turbo charger oil filter figure 1918 through uh, additional protection with a high speed bearing with the other lubricated area for the turbo charger by filtering the oil with the just before the emitted with the turbo charger oil enter the ends of the filter with the, with the cast manifold the after the passing of the filter return with the upper idler gear subshaft so, the into the turbo charger with the filter element is bleeded with the paper the construction disposable the filter mount with the camshaft the driving house to get the right bank of the engine. The filter head with the con and contained with the two check valve the figure nine eighteen one of the frame the loop of the oil soak uh, soak back of the bit going to the turbo of the filter with the soak back of the pump uh, operation, the other preventing loop oil with the turbo of the filter with the engine soak back system when the engine is running the um Figure 918, turbocharger oil filter, loop filter input to the oil pressure in line with the filter oil output the track valve and from from um from the soak pump um soak back pump. Maintenance turbocharger filter should be served with the interval specified in the schedule maintenance program once more frequently and experiences are indicated if necessary. Remove the turbocharger filter assembly loose for the two nuts hold the container with the upper half until the up until the the hand with the each of the side of the container with the container can be rotated to disengage the upper half to remove the up paper element the dispo with the thoroughly clean with the container with the install the new element check the clean and replace. Require the fill of the container with the cleaning oil to resemble the upper housing. Do not over tighten the attaching bolt as the seal may be damaged. Note whenever the oil is detected coming from the camshaft of the bearing the engine shut down with the soaking back of the pump the running. The turbo filter outlet check of the valve should be inspected. Soak back oil system. Description of the engine ensure the, lubrica ensure the lubrication of the turbo charger bearing with the ensure the start and start. Remove the residual heat of the turbo after the engine with the shut down the separate loop of the oil pressure service of the provided through the pressure source of the control of the automatically through the engine start and the stop controls. Literally driven the pump pump the drawing loop oil from the oil pump the pump through um, the oil from the soak back filter figure nine nineteen head with the turbo charger oil filter directly with the turbo charger bearing area. Figure nine one the power motor driven the pump the, over the filter amount down each side of the oil pan figure nine nineteen. 919 shove the soak back oil motor, motor pump then filter insulation soak back um, pump meat motor soak back pump back pump pressure relief valve the bypass relief valve soak back filter Caution for the soak back pump that should be able to operate with the engine shut down the restart the engine immediately and allow it to run for the 15 minutes idle speed with no load, no, with no load to prevent the damage from the to, to the turbo charger. If the engine is not restored within two minutes for the shutdown, do not restart the engine until the soak back pump the, the operation is restored for the engine has been allowed to cool down. They also pre relay pressure relief for the figure 919 the set with the 55 psi located with the head of the filter when engine restart with the motor driven the pump with the still running with the main loop oil pressure for the engine with the engine driving the pump that comes greater from the motor from the motor um, the motor driven the pump pressure for the, there is no outlet the lower oil pressure of the relief valve will open when the pressure builds up to 55 psi oil. The return of the oil pan through the passage of the filter ahead of the mounting flange. Also located the filter ahead of the bypass valve with figure 19 with the 70 psi of the valve. They open the permanent mode and drive the power pump pressure bypass plug filter elements. So the lubrication can be supplied with the turbocharger preventing the turbo damage maintenance. The oil filter elements should be served at intervals specified applicable to schedule maintenance program. The frequency and experience of the indicates the necessary to move the element from the filter figure 919. Move the two bolts from the top of the head. Move them with the bowl and element and shrink from the upper housing. Pre-lubrication of the engines. Pre-lubrication of the new engine, the engine that has been the overhaul of the engine, which has been in out through the more than 48 hours necessary. Important with the practice of pre-lubrication, alleviates loading of the unlubricated engine parts the, during the interval with the loop oil pump, the filling of the passage with the oil, the also with the the officer protection with the given the visual advantage for the oil with the distribution of the engine and the satisfactory performance. Pre-lubrication is followed with the move of the pipe of the plug with the main loop oil pump with the discharge elbow, elbow connect the external source for the clean and warm oil with the also discharge the elbow pre lube with the engine, the minimum of the bit 710 BSI for the more than period, not less than three to not more than five minutes, but approximately eight to fifteen gallons per minute with the using um uh, one point one one point five kilowatt or one point one and a half to two horsepower motor with the well oil pressure is applied with the over the open the cylinder test valve of the bar engine over the engine over the complete revolution, check out all the bearing of the camshaft, the grain shaft, the rock of the bottoms and the rear of the gear train for the oil flow. Check out all the restrictions excess for the oil valve with the fluid discharge and observe the engine cylinder test the time of the cause of the make of the necessary repairs. 
Three on the non overhaul the engine room with the pipe with the plug with the position pooling oil pump the discharge elbow with the connect the external oil source with the anthill opening of the trickle the for the oil flow with the piston cooling tube. Disconnect the external oil source with the replace the pipe plug with the pump the discharge elbows code for the cylinder test valve flower the laboratory liberal quantity over there all the oil cylinder mechanism each of the bank of the trickle the oil of the trainer housing add the if the required add oil of the trainer housing until the overflows and the do the oil pan replace and securely close the hand, all handle cover the engine the top deck cover the core cover the when the engine is replaced to do the un- mechanical breakdowns important for the entire oil system, such as the oil coolers, training for the three, thoroughly clean the, before the replacement engine with the reconditioned engine with its put in some of the recurrence of the trouble that may be experienced with the cleaning of the engine if the other system components have been neglected. In some cases, the engines have been removed from surfaces and stored in as is conditions draining of the oil to apply with the anti rust compound with these engines to return to the surface of care must be taken to see that any loose deposits are flushed out before adding a new oil charge for the entire engine, but this should be sprayed with the fuel to break without, up any of the sludge deposits within drain to being carefully with the drains or not. Not plugged. Fuel should not be sprayed directly on the fuel valve mechanism of the bearing. As lubrication will remove the dirt and force it into these areas, the surface then should be wiped dry. But before the oil, new oil is added into the um, engine. Oil system information. Additional information on the oil system components to give them the latest revision of the maintenance instruction and bulletin of these instructions. The cover the important the items the schedule pre program with the outlines maintenance the intervals, flushing the cleaning of information, and the lubrication oil should be qualified for use. Server the data of the lubricating oil system clearance with the dimension of the list of the below the defined is below the new limits of the width of the new portion of manufacturer drawing the cylinders minimum and maximum cylinders benchmark to provide the server the limits of the time of the rebuild any but the unscheduled maintenance will perform server the limits should not be exceeded. Educate components with these limits will be reviewed with the insurance, but they will perform satisfactorily until the new um the next unscheduled under overhaul the loop oil re- pressure relief valve the valve guide stem the Got inside diameter the maximum valve, valve, valve stem, the outside diameter the minimum valve, feet for the stem, square enough for the outer edge, the valve space, day hour, or maximum. Open up the drive shaft in the rear of the housing, burn, burn, bushing clearance, new and maximum, sleeve bearing, bushing clearance, new maximum, out of the shaft gear, bushing, new maximum, drive gear, total of the clearance, new and maximum, thrust face, bushing, applied to clearance, front and rear, new max, minimum, drive gear, backlash, new maximum, radio clearance, drop the gear, the body, the body, the minimum, maximum, drive shaft, the thrust clearance, the pump assembled, drive shaft, thrust clearance, pump assembled, pump Drive the gear face run out TR or limited pull up the flange face running out TR or limited plus flange pilot um, concentric TR or limited. All right, pump driven the gear to the accessory drive gear of the back last new maximum scavenging pump oil as one stash loop double slash um, double star the loop pushing oil come, pump cooling pump only pump and motor assembly pitch barrel compli- coupling and alignment the maximum axle clear. Axle clearance between the jack and spy, jaw and spider minimum. Axle uh, ax, ax angle with the position of the oil pump. The get gears, the main loop, oil piston, cooling pump. The one scavenging oil pump is equipment list. Gauge piston cooling oil pump line with the cleaner and the piston cooling oil pumps spray the gum and the cleaner and the activated with the, the retaining compound. Mitch for the oil filter should be chained within 25 psi or above. And then uh, I'm going to back out of this to zoom to page level. Or you have your lube oil turbocharged uh, engines. Um, let's start with the section A liner and piston with the piston oil cooling pipe through the rocker arm shaft of the valve bridge. Um, then it spreads through the, the um, main lube oil manifold with around the kink trans shaft and then into the camshaft of the holding oil detector. Also, then it follows from the, moving from the left. You got the go into the governor. Um, the governor drives you, um, drive gear with the, which goes into the oil drum. Oil pressure relief valve, the hot oil detector sensor, the oil pressure relief valve, then then the governor, the load regulator, sump, the main oil pump, traveling to the um, strainer housing. Or wait, um, the piston and cooling pump, the oil pump, the cooling piston and cooling manifold A section. Um, we're running back. Um, strainer housing, two fine mesh from the main strainers. Strain sump, the oil cooler and bypass main filter, scavenging lube oil, coarse mesh scavenging strainer oil pan, and then on the then it goes from the turbo um, from the crankshaft. Turbo filter, check valve, the oil pressure gauge, the, um, the, the low oil pressure shutdown device, and the oil pressure for the oil water, crane case pressure detector, crane crash pressure, uh, alarm, number one idler gear, um, number two idler gear, sub shaft, um, through uh, soak back filter, turbo housing, soak back pump, the oil pan, exclusively generated drive shaft, shaft oil, and two dr- turbo drive gears, and planet gears, and turbine, and compressor bearing, and then the turbo impeller. And that completes um, section nine. Lubricating oil system.